Yes. Wow. You bless me, all of you. It's so good to see all of my friends. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> only been three months, but it seems like it was just yesterday that it was there. Yeah, and I just want everybody to know, you know, I pray for you all daily, and you, I am so thankful for Facebook. <laughs> yes, amen. So um, I honor you, David, and I honor you, Saul Salu also known as James. <laughs> David also saw Lou the boy. Thank you. Yeah, there are, um, there are a few people that I've met in all of my travels that compare to um, the people that I've met there in Myanmar. It's not that we compare one another, but um, you all shine like stars. Yes. So um, I asked the Lord what he wanted to say to you, because if you left it up to me to say what I thought, I would talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I have a word that he gave me for both of you. And I'm going to give it to you individually. Okay, so salu. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I, I not a day goes by that I don't think about you. And I want you to know that I believe in the call of God on your life. I wish you would marry my daughter. <laughs> but I'm thinking that might not work out right at the moment. Salute <laughs> for me. Well, I was going to say both of you, but that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to read a scripture, David. I'm going to read it. Um, and it, well, for Stolu, and then I'll read it, then you can read it. It's just uh, one verse in Mark chapter 9, 35. If a man desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. So Salu, you are first. And the thing that makes you so special is you don't desire to be first. You desire to serve first. <laughs> and that's why God is going to honor you in a way that you cannot even imagine. Yeah, that, I joke about the, the wife for both of you, but God is preparing your wives. <laughs> Uh, and you can trust him in the waiting. Uh -huh. Because they need to be specially prepared for each of you. And you need to be prepared for them. The Lord's just given me this, so <laughs> yeah, said, nobody well, wants to eat. Nobody wants to eat a cake that's not cooked all the way through. <laughs> it would still be cake, but it wouldn't be as pleasant. And so, be patient. And don't fret. 
Don't be sad. Don't be discouraged. Because he makes everything beautiful in its time. All right. Let me see if he wants to say anything else about that. So I just bless David and Sosalu's hearts right now in the waiting. Yeah. That the peace of the Lord and the comfort of the Lord would surround you. Mm-hmm. That any loneliness you might feel would draw you to him. And it's there that you'll truly be fulfilled. And you will lack no good thing in your marriage covenants. And I just bless your wives. I bless your children yet unborn. I bless the land where you will live. And I thank you, Lord, for the sphere of influence you will give the, these families. Amen. Amen. Okay, so um, there's no greater honor, Sasalu, than to be the Lord's missionary. Except to be the one who serves the Lord's missionaries. And you get to do both. Because you have power and authority and a very strong calling in yourself. Yeah. And as you have served, so shall you be served. And this is just a testament to how much the Lord trusts you. Servanthood is one of the most precious things to the heart of God. And there are many who are called, but few are chosen to servanthood because they feel they fail to choose it. But you have chosen the greater part in that you have said yes to serving. And one of the greatest things about a servant is humility. Satan lost his position because he had pride in his heart, but you don't have pride in your heart. And there's so much power in your humility. Don't ever, ever let anything take that from you. I don't know if I've met, ever met anyone like you, Sosalu, anywhere. And so I just bless you. And I thank you for being my friend. When I wake up in the morning, many times I have a message from you waiting on my phone. And I always check my phone to see if you said anything. <laughs> because you bless my heart each and every day, and I love you. Amen. Amen. David. Yes. 
You mean so much to me, friend. We don't get to talk enough. <laughs> and we need to change that. We need to make more time. Okay? <laughs> But this year has been a year of breaking down and burning off the chaff in your life. And, I'm gonna and the scripture I have for you kind of goes along with what Deb was saying. I'm going to read it first and then you can read it. It's in 1 Peter 4, 12 and 13. 1 Peter 4, 12 and 13, my father. be my. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial, which is a try you as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. And when we ask the Lord to reveal himself to us, David, sometimes it doesn't, he always replies, but sometimes it doesn't look like we think it will. But this verse says, to the extent you partake in Christ's sufferings, when his glory will be revealed, you'll be glad. And we always think about that glory being revealed as to be in the age to come. But I'm going to tell you that the glory of the Lord is yes. ready to be revealed in you and through you. And it takes the fiery trials and suffering to prepare us to be vessels of his glory. And a lot of times we all feel when we're going through fiery trials that it's always just Satan. But sometimes it's the Lord allowing it because we're being purified to be vessels worthy. And I just speak to every pain in your heart and I break the power of the lie of the enemy that says that you are less than. Amen. And I take authority over every demonic spirit that is trying to take this trial and turn it in your mind to be an attack. Not every trial is an attack. But every trial is a tool. It's an oven of the Lord preparing you for the glory that he's going to reveal in you. And one thing about you is you may feel pressure, but you keep pressing. You keep pushing forward towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. And I just want to infirm, affirm in you your sonship. God is so proud of you, David. Your father is proud of you. Because you pressed forward even when there's tears rolling down your face. 
you make yourself available to serve him even when you just want to lay down sometimes. There are times that we all want to just lay down sometimes. That doesn't make us less than, and it doesn't make us weak in the sense of a worthless. But his strength is made perfect in our weakness. And so this year has been one of the greatest gifts of God to you. Because in your weakness, his strength has been revealed. And you are becoming a vessel of even greater honor. And so even as last year was a year of breaking down and burning the chaff, this year is going to be a year of divine reversal. When a tsunami comes, the wave pulls back and then it charges forward. And you've been in a season in your heart that things have felt like it's been pulling out but you're entering a season where things are going to come charging forward. And a lot of people around you might not even know the trials you've walked through. Because you're a brave soldier of the Lord. And may everyone that God has placed you in authority over know and see what it's like to keep pressing forward. I'm so very proud of you, David. You're a young general in the Lord. Right. And principalities fear you. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you the same word I gave Saul Lu is that keep your humility and guard it with everything you have. Because there's so much power in it. And, and I just pray for both of you that God would give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. That the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. Uh, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints uh, the and the exceeding greatness of his power towards you both because you believe According to the working of his mighty power with which he raised Christ from the dead. And seated him far above all principality, power, might, dominion, and every name that is named. You are both seated with Christ in heavenly places. But you're also in the trenches. But he's faithful to you, to keep you, to protect you. 
and I love you both so much. Thank you so much for inviting me to your party. Thank you so much, Peggy. Thank you so much.